And welcome back to American Agenda. I'm Heather Childers along with Bob Sellers. We do have some breaking news to report right now. The campaign seeking to recall California Governor Gavin Newsom saying today that it has pre-verified 1.8 million signatures of the 2 million signatures received. Uh, the campaign still has until uh, March 17th to keep verifying uh, to trigger a mid-year election. And in New York, on the other side of the country, uh, the Albany Police Department has now been informed of the groping allegations against embattled Governor Andrew Cuomo. While officers have not launched an official probe yet, we're told anyway, but they have reached out to the victim's attorney and offered assistance. This coming after six women have now come forward accusing Cuomo of sexual harassment. So it seems that these former stars of the Democratic Party are now free falling into turmoil. So what can we expect to happen next for these two governors? And what does it mean for the rest of the country? Let's bring back in our panel to talk about it. And Joe, I'll start with you. I mean, they were shining stars at one point, and now it appears anyway that they're going down fast. Winning awards, uh, get, winning yeah. praise. Uh, we're, we're all told, uh, writing books about how great they were with COVID. Turns out they weren't so great with any of that. They certainly weren't great with the economies of their states. I would urge anybody who's watching or listening in Texas right now where I'm based to go ahead and pack up and move back to California and to New York <laughs> and take care, of the, take care of the problems you guys left behind because uh, they all came here and they brought their politics with them. You see that the politics of a Cuomo or of a, of a Newsom don't work. Uh, as far as Andrew Cuomo goes, I'm the guy who says, all right, I'm hearing the allegations. All women should be believed and uh, they should be investigated. Let's find out what happens at the end of it. I don't know what he did or didn't do. But to, to hold this guy at the highest level, as you alluded to, and hold Gavin Newsom to the highest level, then hearing about how horrible they were during COVID, knowing how bad they are in running their, in, in their, in running their states, I'm kind of not surprised. I mean, it reminds me of Avenatti, doesn't it? Avenatti was the guy, man. He was the top dog. He was going to be Avenatti 2020. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, who, where is he? Uh, I think that's what the left does. They try to pick and choose their new stars, so they don't really vet them very well. Right, or or they just ignore some of the glaring yeah. inconsistencies or problems, which is what definitely happened in terms of uh, Andrew Cuomo. Uh, Alex, right. you know, they they wrote books talking about how this is you sh this is how you should govern. They won Emmys uh, with the press conferences that they gave regarding different things. But here we are. Yeah, look, I knew last year we were in trouble when people started coining the phrase Cuomo sexual, yeah. okay? That was a red flag there. And I think at this <laughs> point, you know, a lot of people saying he needs to resign. Forget resigning. Let's impeach this freak of the week. I, I think we know at this point the left is going to do everything they can to protect their own, no matter how corrupt they are. But, of course, as soon as a cartoon does something that they don't like, they stop at nothing to get it removed or taken down. And if you've yeah. learned anything, last four years is that the left loves to waste time on crap that doesn't matter and turn a blind eye to the stuff that actually does. You know, and what's interesting, though, Alex, they accuse the right of concentrating on those things and emphasizing cancel culture and saying, you know, it's not a big deal that, you know, the right wants to talk about canceling what, who, who's the latest, Mickey Mouse or something, uh, <laughs> Stacey, but yet at the same time, they're doing this. Well, I just had an email in my box from the parent. Uh, it's, it's, it's a council for parents, and it's a parents' television council. And what they're saying is that Disney has walled off the Muppets and some other uh, cartoons. You, you've talked about a couple of them. Uh, but they still have their highly sexualized content on one of their uh, subsidiaries, which is Hulu. So people watching Hulu can see teenagers in sexual activity. Uh, this this. These programs are promoted to kids. They're promoted to teenagers. But uh, Pepe Le Pew, you know, stroking another cat and trying to woo her to be mm -hmm. his girlfriend, non-sexual, just kissing, that's something that's bad. Um, so I'm, I'm a, I believe in parents actually monitoring what their children are, are looking at and actually saying to kids, you know, this is inappropriate and here's why. Here's why we don't want you to watch that. Or you watch Dumbo and if there's something in there that's a little off in 2021, mm -hmm. you explain what that is and how it came to be and why contextually it's not right right now. But that's if your kids catch it. Your three and five year olds are not gonna catch that stuff. Your 13 and 14 year olds will. Right. It's called parenting, let us do it. So, but is that just a distraction when you have some of the leaders of the Democratic Party, I mean, some big governors doing what they're doing, or do you think finally uh, they're going to start maybe canceling some of their own, Stacey? So, uh, 
I, I let, let me be clear here. The issue with Cuomo, uh, the allegations from the women are being investigated, and that's fine. But the issue with me, for him, and for most Americans, is that he killed 15,000 grandmas and grandpas. Yes. Every time we talk about the sexual harassment stuff, what we're really doing is trying to give Governor Whitmer a pass and the other governors who did the same thing that he did. This man must be held accountable for the deaths not so much the sexual harassment as the primary issue, mm -hmm. but in any case, he's done enough that he should be impeached. And why save him from that by allowing him to resign? I want him out of there by hook or by crook, but yeah. impeaching yeah. him is the proper action here. Yeah, Bob, you know, we I, I wonder, about... Heather, Go ahead. I, I'm sorry. I wonder if I could just jump in there for a second. What a great point Stacey made. Is this a distraction? Is this right. something that the left said, hey, wink, wink, nod, nod? We always knew these allegations were there. These aren't brand new allegations. People have been making these allegations for a long time. Nobody ever heard them and nobody ever publicized them. Suddenly we are publicizing them and we're not talking about dead old people and nursing homes where Andrew Cuomo literally put people with COVID in with the most susceptible. So did mm -hmm. Gretchen Whitmer. She faces charges now in her state. It's a great point. This The left is always the master of deception and distraction, and they could be doing it here. Right, yeah. Uh, Bob, only yeah. 30 seconds left. But four yeah. states run by Democratic governors, by the way. Uh, and, and to follow through on this, they're not gone yet. Mm -hmm. And so I would That's say true. wait until this plays out because Democrats have a way of uh, coming around for their people. It seems like Gavin Newsom may be in trouble. He's such an elitist. I think he alienates a lot of people. But Cuomo, Cuomo is not gone yet. Mm -hmm. And I think this needs to play out. And we'll see whether they actually turn on him. I'm not convinced of it yet. Yeah. I, I don't know, though, Joe. I'm kind of going down your road. And, Stacey, I think that it is a distraction. They're bringing this up now or allowing it to because it's a distraction to what has gone on in, in those other Democratic states and right. those Democratic governors with nursing homes. That's what I think, too. All right. Agreed.